Okay. Um, let's talk about uh, some local cats from Michigan. Okay. What are your views on uh, some of our local cats here? Um, I think I think Street Fighter Four has like has brought out like a lot of our potential in games because like we got some competition now. Like we can we could really like go far. Like Wolf Crone, you know what I'm saying? Checkmate, you know what I'm saying? Myself. It's, and it's like a bunch of just other guys that's that's just real good. Like they can they can really contend like on the top level with the top gamers. Okay. Being from Michigan. You know what I'm saying? Because we're so small and we don't really have that much competition to play against. But this, I don't know. This time we might we might be making a little stand for ourselves. Might be making a little stand. I like that. Um, any advice you want to give to like uh, like people like myself or other people that's coming into the game, or like my son. My son, he's uh, he's 12 years old and he's like he's trying to learn the game. Uh, <laughs> any advice you want to give them? Um, just practice, man. Like everything, everything that you need to do, like in a, like period, like in life, it like requires like practice and like like dedication. So if you, I mean, if you up putting in hours, you know what I'm saying, to work and your execution tight, all I mean that stuff pays off, man. Like it's it's never gonna, you're never gonna be able to to recreate that like tournament feel, like that grand finals pressure. But but you know what I'm saying, at least you had your execution tight. At least you know when you. When you touch somebody on the game, you gonna you know what I'm saying you're gonna hurt them, you're gonna damage them. So, you know what I'm saying? Just just practice, man. Get 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 together with some friends, get online, you know what I'm saying, watch some videos, do some research and just just get you a, a, a know how about the game. And you'll do fine. Um, okay, speaking about that, um <clears throat> any other national other national tournaments we going to, like uh Evo or uh, Gaming I'm or gonna try. I know final round is coming up in March. Still iffy about going, but I'm, I'm gonna try to go to it just to you know what I'm saying. See what I can do with everybody. See if I improved or you know get my last uh, Street Fighter Four out of me into SuperCon. So I think that's gonna be like the last big tournament before. Final round is like the last one that's doing uh, Street Fighter Four, and then like Evo uh, Gaming and all those are going dedicated straight to straight Super. To Super. We'll see. I may, I may, I may go to find around. Okay. Um, do you like peruse the uh, certain boards like um, Fight Nation, EX, or ExtraShowYouCan.com? Uh, a little bit. Only, only like when I hear about something that I want to go to and I need to go check it out, or my friends tell me to, you know, since a tournament coming up, and you know, what I'm saying? I might get the information. But other than that, I'm not, I'm not really on there at all. I'm more like a I do a little research. I watch a little videos on YouTube, but more so, I let my my, uh, my friends dabble with that. And they just they just relay the information to me. I, I'm not. That's not really like my, my thing. I guess. And since you've been to like the show, I could say since you've been to the <laughs> show, the big dance. Um, do you uh, feel that is you know make your game better if you watch videos of yourself playing, or you just just uh, yeah, you you have to. Do you have to see, like, what was I doing? Like, what was he doing? How, how was he stopping me? Or you always gotta gotta go back and look, like, and study, like, and see what was what was exactly happening. Because once you up there, like, if it's something like on that grand of a scale, it's really hard, like, to to uh, adjust or you know what I'm saying. It, it was it's hard, man. So you, you have to like look back on your on your actions because you don't remember anything like when you're done. It's it's just that much like pressure, you know what I'm saying? It's tough. Also, this um this is probably my last question, but uh can you uh explain to some of these people because when I go on the boards like like even on some of your YouTube vid, like your YouTube vid against Mike Ross, people was like, Oh, he should have did this and should have did that. Can you explain to the people, aka the keyboard warriors out there, <laughs> that when you're on the grand stage Yeah. It's tough, man. That's 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 the word for it. It's tough on that stage. Like I never like ever been pressured before playing a, playing uh any fighting game. But up there it just was a, a total different atmosphere. I had about I guess thousands of people behind me. I'm you know what I'm saying, playing on this big old screen, and it's like when you fighting somebody that that's just has the edge on you, man. You like, man, it's just real hard to adjust and, and come out on top. But 
you you get used to it kind of but like if it's like like me it was like my first time doing anything like that like that big so it, it was tough to swallow at the time well you have it ladies and gentlemen please look forward to seeing more videos of uh Anton Ortiz in the near future right in the near future you're not going to go like Obi-Wan Kenobi and go <laughs> hide or nothing no, like that. I'm in the near future. All right. Laters, people. Wait, 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 wait. Before we go, shout out ran out time. You almost, you know. Shout out. Um, got to shout out my, my, I guess, my best friend, my, my brother, uh, Brian James, Adonis the Guy, um, head of the Bum Bashers. Uh, shout out my boy D-Dog, uh, free one up. Everybody that played the game, you are Aaron S, uh, STD, my boy Mike, my boy Thundercats, um, Checkmate, uh, my rival at the time, uh, Wolf Crumb, probably our best, our best uh, player here, besides myself. He uh, plays with Blackbird, I didn't know. Um, um, oh, everybody from Wayne State that plays. My, I guess my, my best little protege, Brandon. Look out for him. He goes by uh, Mellow. He plays with Ken. Part of the best Ken. I don't know. In the country, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess that is going to wrap it up for my shout out. So anybody I forgot, it's, it's hard to think about this camera on me. But y'all know who y'all are, man. Keep up the good, the good work. Keep coming out to the tournaments, man. Ran out. Usually I do this through my podcast. I do a shout out and ran out. Shout outs, you know what shout outs is. Ran outs is like what's really bothering you, what's uh, peeving you off. Period. Uh, anything that's bothering me. Um, I really got. I got one little. I guess a minor issue. Um, it's a little YouTube issue, but I don't know. I don't think I want to get into any of that on camera. I just I just I'm just gonna say be yourself. Be original. You know what I'm saying? If you if you gonna play fighting games, it's nothing like being yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? Coming up with your own tactics, uh your own style of play. Um and give and just and just if you if you do train with somebody or you you know what I'm saying you learn a little stuff from people just give credit where it's due. And now uh, I'll leave it at that. This has been Big Shell with uh, Antoine Ortiz. Peace.